today from M&T Bank Stadium in Baltimore, Maryland. This is Madden NFL 21 on EA Sports. Baltimore Ravens versus Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside M&T Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. There's a scene a short time ago. The Ravens introduced to this sellout crowd and through a sea of pyrotechnics, out they came from the tunnel. We're set to go as the Ravens get ready to match up with the Kansas City Chiefs. Take over first and ten at their own 20-yard line. And now look at this big gain, but a fumble. A gain of 24 yards. So it goes as a fumble, but the key thing. Not a fumble loss. Yeah, that, that stat's big, isn't it? I mean, it, I remember watching teams play. The ball might be on the ground a number of times during the game, but if the other team doesn't get it, that's a huge difference in the ball game. And in this case, they were able to retain possession. A good pick up there, 26 yards. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. About three yards there to the 27. He was tackled at the 27. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks, allow other people to make tackles. And when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. That's a gain of five. Brings up third and three. They'll try to run for the first with Ingram. And he's got Rome. And down inside the 15 he goes. Ten yards there, good enough for a Raven first down. Ten at the 13-yard line. Ingram again, a first down carry. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. A nice run there, nine yards, and it'll be second down. Second and a yard. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight yard line. That'll go as a loss of five. And they're going to face a third down. On third down, Jackson being chased out left. He can run for, and he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. An eight-yard touchdown run. And the Ravens take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. And not a surprise at all for Lamar Jackson to find the end zone. He did it five times as a rookie, seven times during his MVP season a year ago. That's a little bit of a surprise to me because I would have thought he would have scored more. Had over 1,200 yards rushing, set a new record for quarterbacks in the NFL. But still, seven touchdowns, he's awfully elusive. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. The Chiefs offense coming out here and bringing them onto the field. The most valuable player of last year's Super Bowl, and that's Patrick Mahomes. We know the arm strength is certainly there. He's got a big-time cannon for an arm, and that's not a surprise. He's the son of a former Major League pitcher, so the bloodlines come into play. The biggest question for Patrick Mahomes, can he harness that big arm, develop the touch that's needed, and carry his team towards the playoffs? And that is incomplete. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field, and really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. 
And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. The Ravens bring out an extra defensive back here on third. And it's third down. From the gun, it's Mahomes. They'll roll him out right. And it's complete to Kelsey. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. A very solid gain of 27. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Mahomes dropping one to Williams here. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 11 more on that one and another first down. 11 on the play. Result is a first down. They go back to the ground with Williams. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Ball carrier brought down at the 23-yard line. At the end of one, the Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter. 7-0 is our score. But we're back to Baltimore after this. On second down, here's Mahomes. They'll set up the screen. This is Williams. They get seven there on the screen. It'll set up a third down. Complete. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. And it's third. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And Williams is going to be stopped short of the yellow line. He did not get there. He needed two. He got one. And that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. Now fourth down. Rutgers kick here is good. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's seven to three. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. His guys take over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And that recipe on their last drive that resulted in a touchdown looked pretty good. So they'll be hoping to do that once more. It takes me back to when we sat with the offensive coordinator and the head coach. They felt pretty good about their game plan and thought there were some holes in the defense. And they exploited them the last time out. Let's see if they can come back and put together a similar drive. And we'll see if they can do just that. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Looked like he had a couple of different options as far as who to throw to on that play. And who am I to say this, but I'm not sure he made the right decision. Well, the window of opportunity is always going to be small in the NFL. That's why these quarterbacks who make quick decisions and have quick releases have the most success in this league. He went backwards five yards there on third down to bring up Ford. On is the putter, Cook, who sends it away. A 40-yard punt, one yard on the return, and it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 37. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Like a freight train off the edge, Calais Campbell with a sack. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Complete the tight end, Kelsey. And he goes out right around the 39. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Third down. Throwing is Mahomes on third. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. It'll go as a gain of 10 and a Kansas City first down. It's a gain of 10 and a first down. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. A loss of a yard. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to Baltimore after this. Mahomes to throw on second down. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. 
to throw. It's Mahomes. Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. Jihad Ward with a big-time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. We call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Ravens, they'll take over. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. Jackson's pass. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards, four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. The 29-yard line. He's going to take off with it. Jackson always a threat to run. He's got the first down. He was the NFL's leading rusher among QBs a year ago. Jackson throwing on first down. And that'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. That's good for a Raven first down. 15 yards there. First and 10. At the so we reach intermission here at a low. And okay, so much for our halftime break. Apparently we're going to get right back to it. The Super Bowl champs trailing here, but they will get the ball first to begin quarter number three. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. Now Mahomes throwing on second down. And his throw is incomplete. Demarcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. And it'll bring up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. That one caught by Tyreek Hill. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. All that practice time came to fruition on that play. All those timing routes that they work on through training camp, OTAs, mini camp, and just regular season. They got it done on that one. An out cut, ball was delivered, and picked up the completion. It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Draw play. Ingram now. And this may be a carbon copy as he'll again be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Right at the line of no gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Big boys down there in the trenches and a nice play to stop them cold. Nothing there. Yeah, when you talk about big boys, you're talking about those defensive tackles, those nose tackles. They're not just big, they're immense. And what a big time play there. And that is incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past, the biggest teaching point. Get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. On the move to his left. He may try and run for this. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. Boy, a real head scratcher there. And the Chiefs will have the football back in excellent field position. They'll try to get this running game going with Williams. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Peleus Campbell on the stop. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. And they're going to get him. He's taken down for a sack back at the 47-yard line. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. 
Pernell McPhee always a threat to find the QB, and he gets to him there. Here's the Chiefs punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Here's Thomas. A very good return that time. 18 yards. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And last time they were very fortunate this offense. They went for it on four, turned it over in their own territory. But the other guys held up. They didn't give up any points. So how about the guy with the number one headset on the sidelines, the head coach? That was planned going into it. Not necessarily to not get the first down or to, to have the defense have to hold but he up. he trusted his defense. Trusted his defense very much. And I think that that's how he's going to play this game. Go for it. Be aggressive because... I got They'll take it into the end zone for a Ravens touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, 41 yards. And the Ravens will add on to their lead. As a fan, is there anything prettier than a well-executed post round? No, it's a thing of beauty, especially when it's done like that for a touchdown. How uh, the throw, the catch, and how about the run after to get it to the end zone? Tucker able to connect on the extra point. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And Hardman going to go ahead and sit on this one as it'll come out to the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And here we are almost through three quarters of play, and this passing game still has not really found any kind of rhythm. Put it mildly because they're not even over 100 yards yet. And in today's NFL, where it's a pass-first league, that is quite surprising. Not many teams patient enough to stick with the run. Everybody wants to advance the ball through the air. They've got to get their timing back. Now a throw for the All-Pro Kelsey is complete. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. Second. And Working from the gun. Mahomes got a man open. It's Ricky Seals Jones. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Give him 16 yards on the play. And the Chiefs are going to get a fresh set of downs. Back now in Baltimore. It's the Chiefs with a football butt with work to do on the scoreboard. They trail as we start quarter number four. It's Williams on the catch. Seven yards on the play, and it'll make it a second down. One thing I think that's safe to say defensively, the tackling's been really good. And because of that, it's been very, very hard for them to move the ball because you're not getting the benefits of run after catch. They're tackling almost on the spot. That means they have to run extra plays, harder to move it. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. Holding offense. This is our time. Our time, right? Well, your QB's been sacked four times in the game already, Still and they're the holding hit. goal. And you know darn well the offensive line coach is frustrated and upset that he's been hit that many times already. He doesn't really care that they hold now. Just don't let him get hit anymore. Here's Mahomes to throw. It's complete to Robinson. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Mahomes going to throw. That one complete to Hill. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. And a first down. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. It's caught on the right side, Williams. 
And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. But correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. An incomplete pass on first down. Here's second and goal. The first running back drafted in April, this is Clyde Edwards-Alaire. And once again, they stop him behind the line. Great job by this Ravens defense. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that's going to bring up an interesting third and goal. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. It's Hill, complete. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. Complete. Able to hold him to just two yards, and now it's fourth and goal. Brings up fourth. Butker's kick here is good. And a second field goal here cuts their deficit to 14 to six now. After the field goal, here's Butker to kick it away. His guys take over first and 10. At their own the Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And they were able to punch it in the end zone last time. They'll be looking to do that again here for the defense. Obviously, they'll be looking to stop them from punching it back in the end zone. It always is punch counter punch, isn't it? And which team has the advantage? Well, let's just go back. Last time on offense, they rolled downfield, got to a good rhythm. You can see a little more bounce in and out of the huddle. You can see the sideline really get into the game. So defensively, you're thinking to yourself, how do we take that away from them? How do we get the advantage back? Let's see what they come up with. I think pressure is always the first way to go. If you love pressure, I love it. Let's see if they dial it up this drive. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. Time for a break. We're back to see what happens after this. Ingram. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. now in a timeout. So defensively, they burn it here with 151 left. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Jackson to throw. Flush to his right. He can run for it, and he will. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. From the red zone now, here's Jackson on first down. Buying time to his left. That is caught inside the five. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Ravens will extend their lead. Well, it'd be real easy to say that they are firmly in control right now, but I'm looking at your face and I'm thinking I've got to be careful with that. Well, it's a two-score game. You're inside of two minutes. I think you can breathe relatively easily now. Yeah, you can, but still, you got to stay vigilant. Can't give up anything cheap and easy. That could put you in some jeopardy. Tucker now for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-6. to six. So this drive spans seven plays, and it's Mark Ingram who caps it off with a touchdown run. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And bring this out to the 25. No return there for Hardman. 
The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. Puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. On the pickup, brings up second and two. Mahomes now to throw, and he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Pernell McPhee able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Gets this one to Hill. And he's got the first down yardage as he brings this up to the 47. From the gun, it's Mahomes. Nine yards on the play and a first down. And that is incomplete. Stopping the clock with five seconds to go. Incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. One final try for Mahomes. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. And Charles, you know what coaches always tell us. We want to win our home games. That much we know. We want to protect our home turf. They got that done in this one. Exactly right. When you start a season, everyone's goal. Win all of your home games, split your road games, and you're likely going to be in the playoffs. But when you win at home, Boy, what a great feeling that is. You don't even mind if people are at your house when you get home after a win like that.